I want you to stop and think about how small and insignificant your life is on the cosmic scale of the universe. Let's be generous and say that you will get 85 years of life, which is quite a bit higher than the average for our species, who have been around for roughly 6 million years on a planet that's had some form of life for 3.7 billion years. Now, to quickly put that into perspective, if years were seconds, the entire human species would have been around for about 66 days, or just over two months, on a planet that's had life for 117 years. But our universe is 93 billion light years across and 13.8 billion years old. And the little slice of space and time that your life takes up is so small that it basically is non-existent. Now, before you spiral down the existential dread rabbit hole, I want you to hear me out. On February 14th, 1990, we got this picture of Earth from the Voyager 1 spacecraft, 4 billion miles away, the farthest distance from which the Earth has ever been photographed. This has been described as the most impactful picture ever taken in the the history of mankind, and I will let Carl Sagan, the man who led this mission, describe to you why. From this distant vantage point, the Earth might not seem of any particular interest. But for us, it's different. Consider again that dot. That's here. That's home. That's us. On it, everyone you love, everyone you know, Everyone you ever heard of, every human being who ever was, lived out their lives. The aggregate of our joy and suffering, thousands of confident religions, ideologies, and economic doctrines, every hunter and forager, every hero and coward, every creator and destroyer of civilization, every king and peasant, every young couple in love, every mother and father, hopeful child, inventor and explorer, every teacher of morals, every corrupt politician, every superstar, every supreme leader, every saint and sinner in the history of our species lived there on the mote of dust suspended in a sunbeam. The earth is a very small stage in a vast cosmic arena. Our home is one of eight planets in our solar system, which is just one of the 100 billion solar systems in our galaxy, which is just one of two trillion galaxies in the observable universe. Nothing that you do in this life is permanent, lasting, or meaningful in the grand scheme of the universe, which can be kind of a bummer at first, but it can also be like the best thing ever. You see, feeling small and insignificant actually has huge and significant benefits for you and everyone here on this pale blue dot. In the 18th century, writers wanted to find a way to describe the feeling that is now known as sublime, a sort of terrible joy or delightful horror or a rude kind of magnificence. It's that feeling you get when you stare out at the ocean or you're looking up at the stars or you see the skeleton of a dinosaur in a museum when you're faced with the realization of just how small you are and begin to wonder about things that are a lot bigger than yourself. I was watching The Future Of on Netflix a few months ago, and it was an episode about space tourism, and one of the astronauts that had been to the International Space Station said that he thought it should be mandatory for every world leader to be sent up into space at least once before they started their term in office. Because sending people up into space actually has a really surprising benefit, one that hopefully more and more people will get to go up and experience this century. Seeing Earth from that vantage point causes a major cognitive shift in astronauts who have described it as a state of awe with self-transcendent qualities. Now, that line is important for where this video is going. Basically, seeing Earth from that perspective can overwhelm people with emotion and has a major impact on their identity, making them feel more connected to other people and the planet and more appreciative of what we get to call home. Now, I get that not all of us will have the opportunity to or the desire to go into space, but that doesn't mean you can't intentionally seek the feeling of awe or sublime. Because not only will it make you feel more connected to the world and other people, but that feeling of awe actually has a ton of other benefits for you from boosting your memory, creativity, and also has a huge impact on your mental health by allowing you to put your anxieties into perspective. Like Ethan Cross said, when you are in the presence of something vast and indescribable, you feel smaller and so does your negative chatter. There was a really interesting study done a few years ago. Two professors split a class of students at the University of Arizona. One professor kept half the students in the classroom while the other 
took the rest to a museum to look at a skeleton of a T-Rex. Then, all of the students were asked to complete a questionnaire asking them to describe themselves. The students in the classroom were far more likely to describe themselves by their individual characteristics and traits, where the students who were standing in front of the T-Rex were far more likely to describe themselves based on qualities that they shared with others. For example, they were a college student, part of a dance group, part of a community, or they were human. Which is really the power of wonder, that sense of wonder that each and every one of us possess, whether you're in a spaceship or looking out at the ocean, has been the engine that drives the innovation and exploration behind humanity's greatest achievements. It's that sense of wonder that allows us to ask how, what, when, where, and what if, and if no one had asked those questions before us, we would never have planes, or cars, or the internet, or any of the things that we all take for granted today. So yes, in the grand scheme of the universe, our individual lives might seem pretty insignificant, but being so small, and being able to think and wonder about things so large, has given us the power of imagination to change our lives and the lives of those around us. For all we know, we are the only intelligent life in the entire universe. The only beings that can look up at the stars and wonder about how much we don't know, and what that means for us tiny mortal humans. We are the only one out of 8.7 million species on this planet alone that can do that, so I think that makes us pretty significant.